Now that we've established a drawer workflow, let's submit a document. Find your contract and select the drawer you need to submit to. We'll use the shop drawings drawer as our example. Once within the drawer, you may see existing documents, or your drawer may be blank. Let's first focus on the submission of new documents. If you have the right permissions according to the established drawer workflow, you will see the Submit Document button in the top right corner. Something to note is that if you don't see the Submit button, you probably don't have access to Submit Documents within the current drawer. Clicking Submit Document, you have two options. You can enter documents individually, or you can utilize DocExpress's Batch Upload feature and bring in multiple documents at one time. We'll start with the upload of a single document. Enter the required document title and browse to choose your file. If your drawer has folders set up, you will also be required to choose at least one. DocExpress allows the upload of any file type. With each document, you can optionally add supporting documentation or comments and save. Upon save, an audit trail is created for that document within the current drawer. If you'd like to utilize the batch upload feature and bring in multiple files at once, click the Submit Document button and choose the Multiple Documents option by clicking the blue bar at the top of the page. You can drag and drop files into this modal, or you can click to select multiple files. As an example, I'll select a few files. You can now see the documents waiting to upload in the background. Depending on the workflow setup and signature policy of your drawer, you may have to assign folder types or sign the documents. Any folder assignment or signature is applied to each document being uploaded. So if you're utilizing folders within your drawer, you'll want to use the Bash Upload feature for documents that will be assigned to the same folder, such as structural details. Once uploaded, you can see that even though multiple documents were uploaded at once, each document does have an individual audit trail. Now that we've covered how to submit documents in the DocExpress service, let's focus on the review of existing documents and how to sign them. Within a drawer, you can see existing documents and their audit trails. Each document is displayed by title, and you can view the current workflow status to the right of the document title. You can expand the audit trail by clicking the arrow on the right side. Any document action, such as status changes, comments, or document updates are logged in the audit trail in addition to date, time, user who completed the action, and the company or organization that the user belongs to. To open a document, you can simply click the document title. PDF documents will preview within DocExpress. If you have large plan sets or contract documents, you can use this view to navigate to specific pages or use tools such as Rotate and Zoom. Any non-PDF files will prompt you to open or download, depending on your browser. Once you've reviewed your document and all necessary information, you can sign or transition the document to the next workflow step. If you have the ability to do so, according to the established drawer workflow, you will see a transition link within the audit trail of the document. If you do not see the transition link, you don't have access to the current step as established by the drawer workflow, or the document might be complete. Once you click transition, you will be prompted to select the status you're moving the document to. Your options will depend on the setup of the drawer workflow. For example, on some drawers, you may see required versus optional steps, rejection steps, or you may only have one option. If a workflow step is required, you will only have the ability to select that step or reject the document. Select the workflow step you'd like to advance this document to. During transition, you optionally have the ability to add comments or supporting documents. As an example, if signing a change order, you could add a photo or comment to justify the need for the change order. Depending on your workflow, you may also see the ability to revise the document, and you may see a signature option, such as a checkbox, or have to enter your name. Here, you can see an example of the checkbox format of the electronic signature option. Once you've entered all necessary information, click Save. Within the document's audit trail, you will see the new status, as well as the log of the status change. For each document within DocExpress, you also have the ability to add comments at any point, even outside of a transition or status change. You can review the existing comments by expanding the document's audit trail, or you can click the comment indicator on each document. This modal allows you to view all comments across the audit trail, 
and gives you the ability to add a new one if needed. Similarly, you can add supporting documentation at any time, even outside of transitioning or signing a document. Supporting documents are displayed in a document's audit trail, but can also be viewed by clicking the supporting document indicator within an audit trail. In this modal, you'll see all existing supporting documents and have the ability to add more if needed. Documents within DocExpress can also have due dates, which can be configured by clicking Update next to the document name. If a document is overdue, that will be reflected in the document's audit trail, and the dashboard feature allows you to view all overdue documents across all your contracts. The process of submitting, reviewing, and signing documents is consistent throughout DocExpress, regardless of your role or what contract or drawer you're in.